<laughs> it's Philly is funny with Bennett and Boss. Hey, welcome back to Philadelphia, man. Thanks for having me, man. I didn't get to see you last time, so this is a pleasure to come in for the first time. Yeah, this is exciting. Uh, do you like Philadelphia? Do you like it I here? I love it, dude. Yeah, do you do like the touristy stuff? You I do. Around? Last time there was the government shutdown, so I didn't get to go check it out. I got like a budget tour from like a homeless guy. He's like, hey, <laughs> you know, look over, if you look over there, it's the Liberty Bell. I'm like, that's a Taco Bell, dude. What are you doing? <laughs> yeah, what are you doing? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, uh, so it's, I'm looking forward to going this time and checking out some of the museums. Yeah. Did you uh, enjoy like any of the cheesesteaks? You have a cheesesteak spot in town. Cheesesteak. Uh, what is the two famous ones? Pat's Pat's and Gino's. Gino's. Pat's and Gino's. I forget which one I went to, but uh, I met uh, I met a nice lady and she took me to one of them and we had cheesesteaks. Oh. If that's what you want to call it. <laughs> <laughs> So today, I feel like, well, this weekend, you're going to be here all weekend at Punchline Philly. you got to do the whole cheesesteak tour. Just like well, I'll do it, dude. What is your favorite? Uh, it's tough, man. I it's... feel like we have the same, though. What really? Are, okay, so there's there? D'Alessandro's. Yes. Okay. Uh, that's like kind of like in the suburbs, like Roxborough, not too far. And then uh, Jim's on South Street. Jim's. Yeah. That sounds yeah. like it's just out of some guy's garage. Yeah, it pretty yeah. much is, yeah. Yeah? Okay, <laughs> But, cool. like, you can smell it wafting down South Street. Like, I recommend having it, like, like drunk. Like, be a little Oh, yeah, 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 you got to be drunk. You, you have to. You can't not. It's to fully be... appreciate it. Yeah, and then there's, get, there's get a Philly a taco. And go. <laughs> <laughs> there's a Philly taco. Have you had the Philly taco? Is that with the pizza? So you take a Lorenzo <laughs> slice of pizza. You <laughs> yes. just get really fat in Philly. That's all you oh, do. Dude, you just I come here. You, I see what you guys are cooking yeah. over here. You're like, hey, get that f-ing fried chicken over there. And give me this. <laughs> give me that thing and put it on. Put it in a sandwich, dude. Like when I first moved here, 20 pounds off the rip. Like Damn, it's just it's dude. silly. So the um, <laughs> no, uh, the Philly taco is a big slice of Lorenzo's pizza mm-hmm. across the street, and you go to you go across the street to Jim's and you put the cheese stick in, and they just they wrap it up. Yeah. It's oh. disgusting. No one should ever yeah. consume that. Die. But that's perfect. <laughs> maybe, maybe while you're in town, check it out. I'll check yeah. it out, dude. I'm down to try anything once, man. Yeah. Also, what's? Yeah. I would like to tell you that my first job in Philadelphia was a tour guide in Old City. You're kidding if me. If you would what? like a tour. Are you? I'm taking you up on that. I hope yeah, you know that. I'm gonna smoke I mean, a big old that, joint. It's been like five years, but I think it would come back to me. No shit. Yeah, <laughs> dude, I would love that if you're really yeah, serious. Yeah, I'm serious. <laughs> it's a day. It's a day. Yeah, and then come to the show afterwards. But I'd love to take a tour with you. There you go. What's new with you, man? What's what's happening? Nothing much, man. Just back out on the road starting 2020 uh, with a bunch of shows all over the country. Yeah. And uh, Philly's is one of the first stops. And I'm glad to be back. The Punchline's a beautiful club. And to get to do the shows there, really good crowds. And the room is just incredible. Love that room. So, yeah, that's that. And then working, you know, on the new hour for um, to shoot my special, like, middle of the year. That's exciting. So, yeah, it's super exciting, man, to get back out and get creative and, and start working again. I think you're the first comic we've had on here with an IMDb page. No that's, way. Yeah, I think you've got to raise your impressive. profile, dude. Get some freaking... <laughs> <laughs> got a bunch of bums coming in here. Yeah. Huh? Just bunch started, of losers. Yeah. No. So thank you for, uh, no. you know, classing that's up the cool. joint I a little bit. I thought I'd have known that. We wouldn't have come in. Thanks, Rachel. I'm kidding. <laughs> on the first. You guys want me to sign anything? I'm yes, please. No, I'm, I'm totally kidding. That's cool, though. This is great. I mean, the studio is incredible on its own. It's yeah, do you like this? We'll, we'll save this clip and like send to my bosses. You like this? You like this oh, building? Oh, it's great. Yeah. yeah Beautiful, this right? This is amazing. <laughs> like, you have a gun to my head? I love it. <laughs> I love this place. <laughs> it is fantastic. Aww. This has been my favorite radio place I've ever... Dude, radio.com is the thing? Yeah. It's the How app. did they get that? Oh, okay. It's the okay. app. So oh, if oh. you log on... Yeah. But the radio.com is the app. It's free if you want to download that. And you can yeah. you can hear us. I'm we're good. Really I'm good. I'm yeah, yeah, I d- <laughs> definitely will download it because it looks like there's a lot of cool stuff going on in here. Oh, we're going to save that stations? clip too. Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay, so we got so this is like a top forty radio station. Okay. Do you listen to top forty at all? What do you What do you listen to? I listen to mainly hip hop music. To okay. Be honest, yeah. Uh, do you check out the new Eminem album? Oh, dude, it was great. Yeah, just a sneak release. Yeah. yeah. I mean, he's so fast. That's the only it way he does it. Is like he just surprises so you. And just but like, it's so different than what's going on right now, you know? Like, so it's yeah. like, I don't know if like the kids are even on to, you know. I know. And it's Eminem, Eminem, you know? So he like talks yeah. about everything, goes yeah. hard This is like classic everything. Eminem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cla- and I don't think the kids now can handle like the stuff he's saying. Because they like, like yeah. lean out like mumble rap. These yeah, days. mumble rap, yeah. but it's also like really sensitive shit, you know? It's like, right. like w- he talks about like, you know, suicide and, you know, the shooting the Ariana Grande shit. Yeah. He got, he got yeah. a bunch of flack for. The uh, the darkness video, dude. Yeah, yeah. the darkness. Yeah. So, exactly so you're in it. You're, you're into this. Oh, I, yeah, yeah. I love Eminem. I mean, yeah, dude, I'm a stand. I think one of the best lyricists of our time. For sure. Just f-ing so quick and good, you know? Yeah. I can't yeah. believe it. And it, everything makes sense if you listen to it. You're like, holy shit, that all, you know? I had to like listen to it like four or five times. Bro, to, like, you catch all the puns and, 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 and yeah. Totally. The, the double meanings. It's, it's crazy. Yeah, what the video is so good. Yeah. What do you got, Laura? Oh, no. I was just really enjoy his dark hair now. You like I know the it's dark been hair? A, you like, like the beard? Yeah, like he was like in the video. I was like, oh, hey. Oh, I see. It looks
There you go. She already moved on. I bro. forgot yeah, my yeah, audience. Already moved on. Here, yeah, but, yeah, yeah. You know, so yes. Thoughts. So <laughs> this is the this is the top forty radio station. We have conservative talk right here. It's kind of weird. You can see through to all the yeah. studios. Oh, totally. Yeah, yeah. I can see. He's super conservative. Well, he's not the conservative guy. <laughs> he's just like <laughs> waving. <Okay. laughs> no idea. We just talk shit about him. He's with yeah. us though, right? Yeah. No, really he's cool. Awkward. The studio behind that. That's they're talking about Trump back there. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> just Trump all day. That's great. This dude. is the yeah. 80s station, so they're just playing Wham constantly. <laughs> <laughs> just right here. Yeah. So we have a full circle here. That's cool. Yeah. So wait, this is your your podcast though. Yes. Yes. Okay. So, so it's kind of like an extension from my afternoon show on the radio. So it's kind of like yeah, free form. You got to like, you know, kind of talk and stretch and say f- Exactly. Yeah. That's the reason why if I do the podcast. Want. It's just fun. It's, it's, it's deliberate. Fun. Yeah, it's, it's just nice. like a fun thing to do. <laughs> you can say it if you <laughs> want to. Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> With uh, since you um, you do have an IMDb page, and, yeah. and Argo was like one of my favorite movies that came out um, in the past decade. Uh, Oscars are coming up. Do you, do you watch any of the movies? You have time to to check all that stuff out? You know, I've been I've got the AMC Movie Pass. Um, yeah. Shout out to them. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I got that thing. So I've been going to a lot of movies lately. And, yeah. Um, uh yeah i've seen a, quite a few i mean um what did i see F- what did i see recently this is the oh. first year i've seen like a bunch of the uh, movies up for awards yeah, yeah like, so what it would it, i've slacking lately okay so i've seen 1917 oh dude that was i think that so dude good. that the way that shot incredible like those I, I, I was watching it going how the hell did they get this shot like down a mountain they're yes. running and it's a continuous shot. It's like how the hell did they do that like like I sam mendes is like the only director that can make a world war one movie look beautiful like the way Dude, like the incredible. cinematography is like unreal and so it that's... just makes you feel like i mean so there you know like you're like and you feel like what the f-? like these guys were like so young going through that man they were it's, kids it's immersive but yeah it's that's that's one of my immersive. favorites mm-hmm. uh what else did i see i think that'll take take some awards i mean for some it's gotta you know, be right this guy has to uh know. irishman i just finished that, irishman started was good. That yeah yeah everyone was... complains how long it is yeah. or whatever but i think it's just like pacino's just like yeah. I think they just like let him go. And, like, okay, you know, he's like, he's just, <laughs> like let him go with yeah, it. Yeah, they let him go, and yeah. he just like, and I think he's like forgetting his line. He's like, oh, uh, uh, oh, uh, hold on, uh, you know. He's like, and he just it, the scene's like way longer than it has to be. Totally. And there's a lot of air in there. Yeah. And but I'm like, oh, there's there, What do you do? You don't. You can't tell. Like he's like a guy. You can't tell what to do. You know. Yeah. You're not gonna tell him what to do. Or like Morgan Freeman's another one. Of those right. Guys. Right. Right. <laughs> just I let forget him go. what movie it was where he played Nelson Mandela. Like oh, I was right. watching yeah, it. And I'm like, yeah. that's when I realized. I'm like, oh, dude, there's some actors like, you can't really tell them because they are who they are now. You know, it's mm-hmm. like you can't tell them like, hey, more because in because in that movie where he plays Nelson Mandela, like. Half the time he's Andy doesn't come around here anymore. He's like Morgan Freeman. And then half the time he's like, you people have to be like. He's like he comes in and out of Morgan Freeman. But no one's gonna coach him on no, that. No, yeah. and no one's gonna say. Shit. They're gonna be like, all right, moving on. Yeah, you know, yeah, like, we got right. it. He's Morgan Freeman. He's, he's, so, he yeah. did it. He did it. Let it go. <laughs> it's like, yeah. So I'm imagining like for Pacino, it's a similar thing. Yeah, because you could tell too the scenes where they let him like riff. You're right. And like they just go a little long, and him and him and De Niro. There's that one scene though with De Niro, like he's like 80 years old, and like he's dude, he's beating. Oh my god, de- oh, the guy that should win a fucking Oscar is the guy that got beat up <laughs> right. by De Niro in like, the Irishman. He's like, like ah, yeah. my hand, my hand, and you know it just looks so bad. That looks, yeah, because his ridiculous. body looks 80. Yes, you know when he's his doing face it with, looked 40, his yeah, body was yeah, 80, yeah, yeah, and the yeah. whole thing was super fake. Totally. But I was like, yeah, I'll roll with it. It's De Niro. so funny because everyone I talk to, they totally everyone's like mentioning that scene. Yeah, because it's so unbelievable. Well, because you laugh out loud. It's like, is yeah. this for real? Is this and I'm, and I'm, dude, don't get me wrong. I'm like a super fan of like, you know, Scorsese and that sort yeah. of movie. Like, the, I could watch 10 hours of that, you know, like that, that, um, yeah. you know, gangster stuff. I went into a whole like Scorsese, like, uh, war, like I did, uh, Raging Bull. Yeah, yeah. I did all those movies. Like, after The Irishman, I went like a Scorsese. Oh, did you? Yeah. I mean, wormhole. he's just the man. Dude, he's incredible. And, and it's like, he hasn't won, uh, did he win anything? Like he won. He keeps getting snubbed for Oscars and stuff, right? The Departed, right? Did he finally win? I for think the Departed, Departed was finally I think that the movie. That was the one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where he yeah, finally right. won, but like what? That came out not that long no, ago. But like for what years, the hell? He never got anything. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, dude, but yeah, I, I, um, I think it could have been a little shorter. <laughs> obviously, yeah. the Irishman, but Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. That, that was, was great too. So you have seen a lot of these, dude. I've seen a lot of them. Yeah. I just can't remember. Like I have a horrible memory yeah, yeah, when yeah. it comes to like what I saw. Bombshell. That was the Roger Ailes story. Um, that was pretty good. What else did I see? I tried to watch Ford versus Ferrari. I the, didn't get to see that uh, one. I like tapped out after like twenty was minutes. Was no good. It's, it's a car Ford movie. I'm not like a big car guy, but yeah. like the summary like on the Rotten Tomatoes, like you don't have to be a car guy. You can just <laughs> like dramas. I was like, no, you got to be a car guy. Yeah, yeah you don't have to be a car guy, but you're not gonna like it. You're if not, you're not <laughs> a car guy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
I, I'm Christian Bale is good. I don't know. Whatever. Yeah, I was looking forward to seeing that one. So I guess that's off the list. Yeah. Um. What it, else, dude? I've seen some other. I too. heard um JoJo Rabbit is good. Parasite. I haven't. I, seen haven't, those. I saw Parasite was great. Really? Parasite, I think is gonna. Is it all in subtitles? It is, but it's dude. Like yeah. you won't even realize it. It's just really? done so well. Yeah. Yeah. And that's it's how just, you know a movie is good if you can sit through a two-hour oh, subtitle great. movie. Yeah, and you won't even know. And it doesn't feel like it's long at all. And you're just like in it. You yeah. Know? And the acting's great, and the cast is awesome. Yeah. And um yeah, I think that's gonna win a bunch of stuff. What else? Um I saw what was the other one? Dude, uh Lighthouse Lighthouse? I heard that was good. Was that with it uh, was Robert super Pattinson? weird, yeah, yeah. But the, I mean uh Defoe, William Defoe yeah. was so good in that. And yeah, it's super weird though. It's like yeah, trippy, it trippy movie. Peanut Butter Falcon. It's not up for any awards. What? Great movie. What yeah. is that one? It's what with Shia that? LaBeouf. I can't believe like I'm like porno. touting. That sounds I'm like a <laughs> porno that came out last week. <laughs> Peanut, <laughs> Peanut, Peanut Butter Falcon. I go, uh, okay. Justin, That's you seen it. Peanut Butter Falcon? The kids are doing these. No, days. Rachel. No one's seen. Okay. I've Has never anyone heard of that? Heard of I it. have not heard of it. Look that up. Okay. I'm on it. I'm on it. Oh, Shia LaBeouf. Yeah, I'm not. What about Honey Boy? That's another movie that I didn't see. Honey Boy. I'd never seen a Shia LaBeouf oh, movie, I but want to see that one, Peanut Butter though. Falcon. Transformers? No. You watch Transformers? I don't watch any of the Marvel. Like, no, the... I'm not a Marvel guy, dude. No. I can't oh. get into it. I'm too far behind. I don't know who's who. I don't know what the f superpower they have. I exactly. don't know. I'm so far behind. Yeah. I don't watch any of that. I will say, I once felt like you, but I have since watched Endgame and all of those, really? and I am into it. Yeah. Are you? I guess, it's yeah. It's like, really good. I have some friends that are like just like hardcore fanatics of this shit. I just never got into it. I, I don't know. And he's like, you didn't have a childhood. I'm like, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> like, I don't know. I um, maybe like the X-Men or like the Ninja Turtles when I was young. But like, yeah. I don't know. Outside of that, I can't get into it. Yeah. Can't get yeah, into I it. think I, I, I'm past that thing. I, I don't know, but I, maybe I can. Yeah. You, it can I got still time. happen for you. I mean, I haven't seen all those movies, but I watched Endgame with like knowing kind of minimal information. I still enjoyed it. Huh. There's yeah. so much, so much, so much. So much. Now more than ever, like in terms of Netflix and like just Dude, so much to consume. there's a new Marvel movie every like week, it feels like, right? Yeah, it's right. crazy. <laughs> and then like all the documentaries, I get yeah. I get sucked into a documentary. You watch any of this stuff? I love documentaries. That's my favorite. Did you watch the Aaron Hernandez documentary? I did. Yeah, I'm like in the first first one. Yeah. I just watched the first one, but I heard, yeah, I, I some of the information I know from like a podcast that happened that yeah. I listened to. And I think there was another one, but that story is really fascinating. Yeah. It's but I think insane. it's CTE will really f them up. Yeah, the, the CTE. Trauma, the brain trauma and also whatever, you know, the closeted homosexuality, I guess, right. is a thing. But, like, I think it was the CTE that made him make those crazy decisions. But from what I hear, the documentary is making it seem like it was, like, the closeted. It's kind of like a, um, I guess it's, like, a piece of the puzzle, like the yeah, CTE, yeah. but also, uh, you know, stuff with his past. I guess his dad was not the best yeah, in yeah, his yeah. life. And then when he passed away, that was a whole big thing. Uh, but they showed the brain scan of the CTE. Of it's like, like the worst, right? It's insane. It's like, okay, so they show a normal 27-year-old brain. It mm -hmm. looks beautiful, as beautiful as a brain can look. And his brain is like a golf ball size that hole black missing thing. in the middle. Yeah. Dude, that's like a car accident. Every time those football players get hit, it's like a car accident, dude. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like that that trauma, it's got to f*** you in up. day out. It's got to mess you up. It's insane. So, yeah, I don't know. I mean, pfft. I mean, how do you do that? 40 million contract, and then you go and, like... He played the whole season. And it was so sloppy. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, oh, my God. Like, it wasn't even, like, he didn't even do it well. Like, <laughs> he didn't, like, there was, uh, there was like, <laughs> bullets in the and car. And then he had, like, the joints that he, he had the, the joints just, like, hanging with ground. all his DNA. And then, and then uh, the phone, and there's, like, video cameras all over his house. Like, dude, what the <laughs> f***? Like, and he bought, like, a pack of Bubblicious. Uh, and then, like, he left he the Bubblicious. And, the, and he offered it to the woman. It's, it's like, like, dude, you didn't watch one you know, um, forensic files. Right. I no, you didn't watch that. one. Exactly. Dateline. You didn't watch one <laughs> before you did this murder. You know, no. Silly. Like, I'm pretty sure my fiance could get away with any murder because she watches all that. The ID Discovery Buddy, I can, Channel. I, this will be used in court against me. I can commit the perfect murder. Yeah. <laughs> one day they're going to pull up this. Go, hey, the Michael Bennett Philly's funny. Look, this is Exhibit A. And it's going to be me. I didn't kill my wife. My wife. <laughs> this is where it all started. Like yeah. Dramatic zoom in on your face. And, and per chair, per yeah. chair. <laughs> so, dude, hey, yeah, I don't know, man. I watched a ton of that stuff. Yeah. HLN is on repeat in the hotel room everywhere I go because that's like the one. Um, HLN has forensic files. And they're okay. all just from like the eighties and nineties, but it's great. Where do you find time to to write comedy? Are you just doing it on the fly? Are you are you uh, putting in like your notes in your phone? Are you... I do that. I'll start a bit like in the phone, and sometimes like, it won't make sense the next day. You know, it'll be like hairy legs. Shit, what? <laughs> you know? Like fragments of a joke? Like yeah, I'll write like you know something that'll come to me, and then I'll then I'll work it out on stage. I like to write on stage. 
Really? You know, so I'll go up and riff out like a premise or an idea that I had and, and talk talk it through and then um, do that a few times over and then you start to get little tags and the joke starts to come together. That's insane. Yeah, like I used a- to sit down and write it like word for word and that just that just started to sound robotic. And as I got better um, on stage and more comfortable, I could just, you know, play with it. And I always it. found that to be so hard to like sit down and like, okay, I'm going to write comedy. Yeah, yeah. It's like, like, I mean, in the beginning, you can kind of do it, but it's like, it, I don't know. It's, it's a different style, I guess. And some guys still do it. Like, you know, there's some really good joke writers that sit down and everything is meticulous. Every word is like perfectly placed and all that. But me, I'm more of just like kind of storytelling and stuff. Yeah. So I might tell the same joke a different way, like, you know. 10 different ways so when you do five shows this week at a punchline yeah. is each show kind of going to be it's it'll be different yeah if you've ever seen me live you can come to like watch me 10 times and it'll be it'll be different every that's time that's really cool I mean there'll be maybe similar jokes or something but it's going to be done differently so you have a memorable experience each time that's really really that's cool that's what I want it to be you know when because I want it to be like when you come see me live it's, it's like a experience you know it's not like or else you can just listen to my album or you know what I mean like right I want it to be like a show like you know and you kind of started late in the game, uh, right? With stand up, um, relatively, yeah. Relatively, I mean, like right? I started when I was twenty seven. You know, what, what so made you want to get into that? Lane? I just always, I just always wanted to do, it, and I always made excuses not to. You know, so if you're listening to this and you ever, you know, had a, wanted to try it, you should just jump into it. Because man, I started and I never looked back, and I'm so glad I did. Because I just, my biggest fear was being the funny guy at the water cooler. You know, mm-hmm. I didn't want to be like, because I was always funny at work. You know, but I always dreamed of being like a stand up or doing something in that field. And um, finally, I was like. When I was in the house, the, I used to do real estate appraisals. And that's really? what I was doing. Yeah, just to make money. So everything would like, there was, you know, I'd start making money and then that would be an excuse not to do stand up. Cause I'm like, let me make a little money and then I'll get in, get to it. And then the market crashed, the housing market crashed. I was like, uh, you know, I was screwed. I lost 70% of my business in a month. Mm-hmm. And I was like, all right, I can either like really try to work and get back to the, you know, real estate stuff and adjust to the market or, moved to LA and just pursued the dream and I decided to do it I'm so glad I did good for you man yeah dude so I don't know I mean that's inspiring uh, that's really cool I hope so I mean I you know I tell people all the time it's never too late to get into it you know because if you work hard and my the learning curve for me since I was a little older and stand up uh you know happened a little faster because I was more comfortable with myself you know stand up is really like finding yourself and being able to be yourself on stage so you kind of get there quicker I think if you're a little older and you start as totally opposed to sense. being 18 and like all you know how to t- talk about is the off or you know like right. I was 20 do, and yeah. I was like yeah yeah when yeah, you're 20 you don't have a frame of reference of like anything you have no life experience yeah life experience and you haven't been you know like things haven't happened to you yet so like you, you know you still don't know yourself fully I feel like that totally makes you know? sense and then um, you also made an appearance obviously on Last Comic Standing uh, mm-hmm. how was that experience I could see it uh, it was cool I mean being good I, exposure right so, yeah I guess so I mean I uh, you know when the se- I did it like way later than you know like the first few seasons I think were really like you know they did stuff for people's careers but like later on you know you were hot like people would see it and mm. you know at shows they'd be like oh I recognize the guy from that but you know it's all a culmination. Like you have to do so many different things in this business to to make a dent, you know. Right. Mm-hmm. So it's just one of those things, you know. My manager was like, "Do it," and I, I wasn't a big fan of like doing that because sh- it's like two, three minutes at a time. Yeah. And I don't think my comedy is that style. Like I like to like let my sh- breathe and mm-hmm. you know tell a story. Storytelling, right? Yeah. Exactly. So it's like in two, three minutes. What are you gonna say? That's you know? tough. That really gets your personality across. Right. And I feel like all those competition shows, whether it's comedy or singing or whatever. Yeah. How many? Like you don't want to win those, right? It's I don't do, even do you know. Do you want to win? Like, I Kelly Clarkson. I, I, do you want to win? I don't know. And it's like you know, it's all set up. It's almost those things are kind of like a casting. You know, it's like okay, we had this guy. We got the Middle Eastern guy. We got the you know right the Asian chick. This you know, it's it's like it's weird. It's like it's interesting. Uh, so I don't know. I don't know how it's done, but it is more like, you know, it's like you're watching a reality show, basically, you know? Right, right, right. So I don't know. I mean, it's, like you said, good exposure, but it's not, not going not like, to take you to, the, you know, whatever. Yeah. You just got to keep working. Now, do like podcasts like this. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> this Hell is the yeah. one. Put it on IMDb. Let's We're ready go. to go, lady. Yeah. And in terms <laughs> of, uh, you know, kicking off, you know, the tour in 2020 and you're building uh, this hour special, how do you how do you come up with that hour special? Like, is it I mean, organically? Like, or? there's, yeah, I don't, it's like what subject matter I want to talk about, you know, like what this one I'm going to talk about, you know, my family, how I came to come here, you know, like from Iran and all that stuff. And um, I think it just like, you, yeah, you lay kind of like a little outline mm-hmm. and then go from there, you know? So like, I want people to know who I am. I want people to know that I'm silly, I'm goofy. And also I like, you know, get serious too about some stuff, you know? It's exciting. Uh, do you know where you're going to film the special? I with? don't yet. So we haven't decided that yet, but I know it's going to be sometime middle of the year. Um, so yeah, I still haven't decided maybe San Jose, maybe in LA. 
I just Philadelphia. Philadelphia. Yeah. Philadelphia. Yeah, no, Come on, man. We love that. Well, Your Rachel. audiences are kind of harsh out here, man. Okay. They are hard. No, well, no, they're not harsh. They're, they're not hard. They're they're passionate. They're very passionate. They're passionate. Very passionate people. Like yeah. when I came here, like they'll tell you like straight up if you, you were fucking suck. Totally. <laughs> <laughs> A little bit. No. If you're not yeah. like authentic. No, they're very. Or... They're very. Uh, yeah, very much like say exactly what they feel, man. And it's cool. It's like the response is real here. So yeah, yeah. I just haven't performed here enough to like have you know confidence in doing a special here yeah you know what i mean yeah like i like to have a good feel for the city and like you know what i'm saying like no and i like cities that are really mixed like you know it's not just one ethnicity coming to right the show, so well, maybe so. after your tour with laura here i mean you may <laughs> yeah. find it home here in philadelphia you never yeah, know I mean, you never know maybe i'll do it at betsy ross's basement <laughs> <laughs> the options are endless they are endless it's ridiculous uh so five shows uh this weekend laura you're gonna go check it out punchline I philly do. i want to come man yeah, you're invited. You guys are both invited. Yeah, most definitely. Why don't you guys come through. So it's tonight. You got two shows Friday two and shows two Saturday. shows Saturday. Mm-hmm. All right. Yeah. Punchlinephilly.com. Grab your tickets. Amir K. Don't miss them. Thank you so much for uh, popping by. We appreciate Thanks it. Thanks for man. having me, guys. This was a lot of fun. Thanks so much. Yeah. All right. Appreciate it, dude. Thanks, guys. Philly is funny with Bennett and Boss exclusively on radio.com.